What is going down everyone over at Bullet's channel, I'm to Games Effect, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Dawn Guard video, and today I'm going to be bringing a comparison of vampires versus werewolves, and my thoughts and opinions on the two, and which I prefer. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please let me know in the comment section below, and if you haven't already, come and check me out and subscribe for more Skyrim content. I'm going to try and post one Dawn Guard video over the next week, just to keep you guys up to date. So here's the video, I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know in the comment section below what Dawn Guard videos you guys want to see. Now, I've been playing the game for a few hours now. I've played it on both sides, vampires and werewolves. So I've kind of got an overall view on which preferred character, uh, in my opinion. And today I'm just going to be telling you guys the pros and the cons for choosing each side. Now, obviously, when you start the Dawn Guard quest, you start as serving for the Dawn Guard. You know, everyone starts like that. You don't really have a choice. But as you finish the awakening puzzle and the vampire comes out of the tomb and she wants you to take her back to her home, then you get the option to choose whether you want to be a vampire or a werewolf. Now, I'm just going to start off with the vampire side of things. And there's a lot of pros in the vampire section. And the thing I like most about the vampire is the fact that you can switch between the vampire and human as you like. All throughout Skyrim as opposed to the normal vampire in the main Skyrim quest where you have to go and get healed. This one you can change between vampire and human as you like. Which I thought was a pretty cool feature. Now the second pro I have for the vampire side is the fact that you get a 50% increase in magic, stamina and health. And that's a really, really useful feature, you know, it doesn't sound that useful, but when you're playing the game, it actually does help out a lot. Now, another pro is you get a whole new skill perk tree, you know, you get lots of new abilities and powers, you know, you can raise the dead, you can summon gargoyles to fight by your side, pretty much just make people your bitch. And by now you're probably thinking the vampire is the more dominant character to choose from, but there is a con and there is actually only one, and that is the fact that you cannot go into first person view. The whole time you're a vampire you remain in third person view, and it does get quite annoying for a player like me if you only play in first person. You know, it is a lot harder to hit your enemies. And as I said, I'm only used to playing in first person, so that was a bit of a con for me. Now moving on to the Dawnguard side of things, if you choose to become and stay as a Dawnguard faction member, you will get to use all the crossbows and all that kind of stuff, and you will have the werewolf ability that you get from the Companions Guild, and you don't actually have to get this werewolf ability from the Companions, you do get it, if you haven't got it already, from the Dawnguard quests. Now, it is not exactly the same werewolf as it's from the Companions Guild. It actually has a whole new perk list of abilities as well. You know, you can pretty much just make people your bitch as well. Now, if you choose to stay with the Dawn Guard faction and you get the crossbow that you're given at the start of the quest, as you play all the Dawn Guard quests, you will actually get more and more crossbows. And it's just like bow and arrows, you know, there's different kind of crossbows, there's different skills you can level up, there's different types of bolts. And it's actually really fun playing with crossbows. Um, the only downside to the crossbow is that it's actually a lot slower reloading and uh, when you're moving while you're reloading it's quite slow. So that's pretty much the end of my little comparison video and uh, my personal opinion is I really do enjoy playing as a vampire lord a lot more than the werewolf mainly just because it's something new that we haven't seen before and in my opinion it is just a lot more fun. So that's pretty much the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and please feel free to let me know in the comment section below which side you prefer to play on and check back to my channel later this week for more Dawn Guard videos. I'm going to try and post one every single day for a week just to keep you guys up to date with the Dawn Guard. This has been 2 Games Effect with another gameplay commentary. I'm out. Peace.